we're here at South by Southwest with Natalia Dyer and Peter Back, the stars of I Believe in Unicorns, Leah Meyerhoff's new film. So welcome, you guys. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Are you having a good time so far? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's been yeah, kind of I mean, it's so overwhelming. Yeah. It feels like all of humanity is, is here. Is this the first time for both of you here? Yeah. Yes. Have you been to Austin before? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've heard things about it, but this is the first time. Have you gotten time to explore? No. Oh, yeah. We've been just hanging out. <laughs> we're just doing whatever. No, it's weird. Yeah, no, it's, it's sort of like back to back events. Have you gotten a taco on the street yet? Not, not yet? I feel like I've had a few chances to eat some barbecue, but no tacos yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I, I need some tax maps. So I haven't had a chance to. Yeah. So I kind of prefer tacos to barbecue myself. But, oh, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, I sort of am down to all food, to yeah. all sort of meat, <laughs> meats. Um, so how do you guys describe the movie when you're talking to your friends about it? Natalia, what do you, what do you say? Um, I'd say that Unicorns is really, it's like, it's a story about finding love and like finding out who you are. Mm -hmm. I, I really think that um, it's, it's kind of an authentic account of what it's like to be a 16 year old girl and um, an authentic account of young love. It's like the messy, wonderful aspects of it. Tell us about Davina. Tell us what you... Well, what Davina's you... a... she's a 16 year old girl. Um, like, I was actually 16 when I filmed it. And she's a creative um, and, and whimsical and kind of headstrong girl. She She's grown up with, um, with a mother who has not really been able to mother her. She's in kind of this role reversal, so she has this childhood that she never really lived out. And um, when she meets Sterling, and she kind of finds a playmate, a soulmate. What's, what do you tell us about Sterling, Peter? Well, Ster Sterling is an interesting guy because he is a drifter. Mm -hmm. He's a... Um, a punk he's, rock musician. He's a little older. He's a little, a little older than Davina. And they meet sort of serendipitously one day and in that way that maybe only happens once but let's hope it happens more than once mm -hmm. uh, where two people just connect on like a, a very deep level emotionally, physically, you know, cosmically and they and I think you know Natalia brings up a good point. She's sort of this girl who because of her situation at home never got to experience youth and I think that I, uh, uh, my character is sort of stuck in youth mm. and so they, they connect on this very, you know, my, I am sort of a, a hard guy because I've had to be mm -hmm. as, as the character, like I, I've had to build up defenses because I was abused, but in private we have this very playful childish relationship and it's in a way it's like we're enacting a childhood that we've never had because we're, we're both sort of robbed of, ch of our childhood. You don't see that for me in mm -hmm. the movie but it is, it, I, it's alluded to and you do see it for her. Um, but because it's very hard for people to escape their histories, um, uh, Sterling's, um, the, the aggression that he has comes out. And you know, often in relationships, especially in young love, people do tend to regress, and I think that he yeah. does. And it's like it's the Achilles heel of their relationship. Mm -hmm. So some of the scenes are, are really kind of you know, you were 16 when you played the movie, yeah. which I think is actually really refreshing. So kudos to Leah um, for 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 casting an kudos actual teenager. Leah. I mean, kudos to Leah for a lot of things, but yeah. but for. <laughs> But for casting an actual teenager, but yet the, there's some really raw, emotionally raw, and you know physically raw, like t some tough scenes. So how did you, how did you handle that when you first read the script? Were you nervous or? Well, you know, I really, what I loved, what I loved about it, what I loved about the fact that Leah was really into casting a, a real sixteen-year-old is that you you often see a lot of older actresses playing younger, and it's it's, I think. This account brings a, a, a raw authenticity to a story that's not really told with all the messy bits. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, there there are some challenging aspects of that. You mm -hmm. know, it was like my first film, and I was 16, and I was I was nervous, and I was actually going through kind of this you know period that every 16 year old girl goes through, where you're trying to figure out who you are and you're trying all these different personas, and you're really not quite in your own body yet. Yeah. And um, 
you know, it was it's, it's definitely kind of an intimidating thing. Um, but I, I will say that on the set with the crew, with Leah, with everyone that we had, um, I felt I felt really safe in exploring all the vulnerabilities um, mm -hmm. that come with that character and that story. So, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it was really sort of. Uh for lack of a better, well, it's a good word, but a, a blessing to work with Leah because she did create such a safe space for us to explore. And you know, I think I can't imagine. I think there will be people who see the movie and go, "Oh my God, this is um, this is very evocative. This is this is I'm, I, I like wow." Because we, you know, as a film, it doesn't shy away from a frankness in terms of how it deals with sex mm -hmm. and teenage sex. Mm -hmm. But you know, what I feel is really important about the film is teenagers do get involved in, in sexual relationships yeah. that are very complicated and very adult. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's it's important to have a record of that, an artistic record in the world, because, you know, I, I'm sure that, like, you know, I know, I mean, I, I actually was sort of a late bloomer, so I didn't really have any sex when I was a teenager. So in a way, this movie was, like, an interesting for me, because I could, I, I too was actually, interestingly enough, sort of, Experiencing a kind of relationship that I never got to experience, and I'm sure that, like, you know, just as Natalia said, she was actually 16 when she filmed it. There will be girls, oh, I, and I, I know this movie needs to get out there so that girls can have something that they can look at and go, "Yeah, that is my experience." I, I have. I mean, I was just talking to someone today actually who still saw the film, and she was like, "Yeah, I did it with a guy like that." And, I think uh, we all. I mean, I'm like, very far from 16, yeah. but I. It, it really resonated. I mean, there's certain things where you're, and it not even so much about the sex, but the just there's a scene in the club where they've had this they had this really intimate and like, as you said childish kind of playful relationship and then she goes to see him in a club and he just totally disses her and it's yeah. it's I mean yeah. that hit me in the what? gut that hit what? me sorry now I'll apologize <laughs> I mean that just hit me in the gut because you've had we've all had oh, those experiences where this absolutely. guy you think yeah. you think he's one thing and then he's not and, absolutely or he is but yeah, he can't man, figure it out can have that experience too actually you know, yeah we, we, there's certainly girls that you know, you, you like, and they seem excited, and then they burn you. Yeah. Yeah, I and mean, yeah, I think I think what's really important is kind of that you you do get to see like the different complexities that are going on with both of these characters, and you kind of it's it's a little more objective, and and where you see you know they're both struggling with their own things, and no one's really the bad guy, you know. Right. Yeah, and I think that's also a testament to the filmmaking. You Absolutely. Know, I think it would have been it would have been easy to to make it black and white, but I, I, I what I appreciate about the film is that I don't think it is. Yeah. People are different in different situations, and especially at that age, where you're not totally fully in your skin, you haven't know, figured that out. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think um, Davina and Sterling see, see in each other? Like, what, what draws them together? I mean, I think we touched on it, but... Just I mean, about the chat, yeah. I think, you know, I, in a way, I mean, Davina doesn't have a father. And so, I mean, this is an older man, so there is that... Certainly that aspect. And, 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 and I have no family. Yeah. So she's family to me. Yeah. She is trying. We should talk about. She is trying to escape a, a, her home situation, and 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 there's layers to that too because the character of your mother is played by Leah's mother, yeah. um, something. who and she went through a similar experience by having to really care for her mother. Yeah, am I right about that? You can you can speak. <laughs> Leah's off camera here. Leah's um, right there. She's Leah's, right there. Folks. Right there. <laughs> that's that's what you don't. Want. We're not talking behind her back, but yeah. um, but that was you know there's a lot of interesting layers there too. So that, that, oh yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. One of, uh, having Leah's actual mother as part of the film really brought something to it. I think mm -hmm. that you know that having an actor playing the same character that could not, you know, it, it definitely made, brought me more into the world and made me more sensitive to the life that um, Leah really had been living and it was, there were some emotional points on set working, working on those days for, for all parties involved, mm -hmm. um, but I really think that it was, it was an important part of it, um, yeah. Cool, and that's probably, you know, one of the reasons why she's... So, she wants yes, to get out of her house, right? I do, she's I do ready think to... that, um, you know, part of the relationship is Davina she is kind of looking for some love and some and some validation and yeah. kind of an escape from this heaviness that the, the early responsibility has brought to her life, and she is trying to live out this. And someone to care for her, as opposed Absolutely. to the other way around. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Um, 
All right, just to switch gears a little bit. Peter, you're in two movies here at South by Southwest. You're yeah. in this and Fort Tilden. Correct. And yeah. then you also have a short film that you create, that you created, made. Uh, wrote, directed. Wrote, directed, directed called Send. Correct, um, yeah. So how does this breakout year feel? Are you... Excuse me? Ha breakout year, I well, think, for you? Know, you? It's and we'll talk about Mozart in the Jungle, too. I, I think so much. that's also always a funny term, breakout, because like I, I've been an actor since <laughs> I was nine, so I feel like... Oh, well, I had pimples in college. I, they they spin up, but I'm I'm happy to break out in, in all sorts of ways. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, you know, thank you, and yeah, I um. I don't mean to diss your former career. I just think oh, this is oh, like no, huge no. to oh, have. No, and I hope I wasn't. No, I think, no, no. I I, no, I'm so. God, I mean, I couldn't be more feel more honored to be here at such an amazing festival with these three projects, and you know, I I, I have not. I never made a film. This is my my first filmmaking attempt, and and. I mean, that's just crazy. I, I just can't believe it. But, you know, Leah was an inspiration to me, really, for my for my uh, film because, you know, as an actor, you always want to work with filmmakers who have such a, uh, a very unique uh, and, um, and you know, complete vision. And uh, and so I wanted a taste of that. So I thought, okay, well, let, let me try my hand at that. But, you know, so every, you know, Do you all have these the bug things... now? Or are you going to keep directing? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I caught the bug. I mean, come on. You know, yeah. that, uh, well, you know, I totally have the bug. So I, I hope to make something else. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah, th thank you. Sure. And um, and Natalia, you, what's up next for you? you? I saw that you have a sci-fi film called After Darkness. Yeah, that was um, we filmed that um, last spring, and that was um, it's just fun. It's, it's it's a fun. Well, it's kind of a dark story. It's kind of <laughs> a apocalyptic aspect to it. Um, mm -hmm. And I just did some ADR work for that. Um, like a month or two ago, so I'm like, are they doing all the CG now and everything? Yeah, I, th I think they're like they're in the little editing stages. I'm never, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited to see what happens with that. Cool. So is that gonna when is that gonna come out? Do we know? I'm not. I'm thinking within the next year. Okay. I think. And then there's something called the Between with Kira Sedgwick and Tim Daly. Can you tell us? Um. No. That that is the After Dark Music. Oh, that is the same movie. Kira Sedgwick and Tim Daly. <laughs> IMDb screwed me over there. Okay, sorry. They said it was two different projects. Um, and then, Peter, Mozart in the Jungle is one of the pilots that Amazon has put Correct. to a viewer vote, yeah. which is kind of a new way that they're doing yes, things. Yes, it is, yeah. Um, and I, just before I say that, I do want to say my film's called Send. Oh. So when it goes online, people okay. should check it out. Okay, Send. i got to plug that. But, um, yeah, Mozart in the Jungle, also people should watch. It's on, you know, Amazon's testing pilots right now, and it's a... a, it's a potential series for them so watch it and, and review it tell, can you tell us about it yeah it's it's set in the world of classical music um uh malcolm mcdowell plays uh this uh older conductor who's pushed out by a younger conductor named uh who plays who's gael garcia bernal plays mm -hmm. and it centers on a young oboist who lola kirk plays um and it's about sort of the politics behind the scenes of the classical music world and also how it's a little more uh, risque than people might think, and I play a, a ballet dancer uh, at Juilliard who oh. meets uh, Lola Kirk's character, and uh, there's a potential romance mm. brewing. Okay. And so yeah, it's it's. So a, you've only a, shot one episode, right? Yeah, we just right? shot the pilot. It's online. It's on Amazon, and uh, fingers crossed, it becomes a series. We Are you? Do you dance ballet? I I studied dance uh, in high school. Yeah. And oh, cool. I took ballet. I think for like. Uh, Two years in high school, and then I came back to a little bit in college, and yeah, I, I'm I if I sometimes I think, oh man, what if I was just a ballet dancer? I do love it, so it's it's a, kind of interesting and cool that I, I might get a chance to play this because it is sort of like a um uh, a, a, a something I admire quite a cool. bit. Cool, you're yeah. a Renaissance man. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Is there anything else you want to say about uh about I believe in unicorns? And the social media campaign, perhaps? Mm -hmm. How that's there's been going? There's yes. a Kickstarter campaign going Oh, a Kickstarter right now. campaign. There's, okay. a, I think, 16 days left, and it's going to really help um, mm -hmm. the film uh, to get it out there. And it's an important film for people to see, I think. So, you know, if you can, please donate, whatever it is. And what's your goal with the film with social media getting girls to... Oh, oh yeah, them? absolutely. I think this film is really what it, one, of the, one of the best things about it is that it has to offer this authentic... And, and real um, young womanhood experience that mm -hmm. you don't always get to see, and I think that's the power of film is to put these stories out there so that we can relate to them. And I really hope that um, you know girls find comfort in, in Divina and cool. find a 
So they can find unicorns on Facebook. Yeah. Absolutely. It's on yeah. unicorns yes. on Facebook. Facebook. There's a unicorn stampede on Facebook. Oh, wow. And, there, and you know, there's Twitter, there's Instagram, there's a website. Oh, okay. So there, there's a lot to find about the movie online. Yeah. And um, Great. We'll hope it gets out to audiences soon, everywhere. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks.